When an accident occurs, every second counts, and overhead scene lighting can mean the difference between life and death. That's why night scan light towers are a must-have for any emergency response vehicle. In 14 seconds or less, you can turn night into day. Night scan can deliver more than 200,000 lumens of light and has over one half acre of coverage area when fully extended. The power light has opposable light fixtures that provide equal scene lighting forward and backward, at the same time delivering 360 degrees of light to your scene. Night Scan meets all NFPA requirements, including lookup light and wind survival ratings. The quick and easy auto deploy extends the tower with the push of a button. The full function controller with LCD feedback gives you complete control, even while wearing gloves. Night Scan by Wilbert is the best choice for overhead rescue scene lighting. It truly delivers light at any height and is trusted by fire and rescue outfits around the world. The Wilbert Company is the world's premier manufacturer of telescoping mast and tower elevation solutions. Explore our full breadth of products at wilbert.com. We sell the Night Scan Chief with a two light package, a four light package, and the one you see here is a six light package. It's uh, all, all self-contained with a built-in air compressor and it comes in a six foot and a seven and a half foot model. We have a smaller one as well that's uh, a little over three feet, but uh, we sell that you know, in the fire, police, towing markets, uh, we put them on a lot of work trucks. So uh, it's a nice compact design light tower. This is the power light. Uh, that guy comes in a 10 footer and a 15 footer. The cool feature about the power lights is that uh, standard with a power light, it comes with a dual tilt. So you can tilt each bank of lights independently from each other. And then of course we have our, our bigger towers, the vertical towers. So these are pretty cool. They, uh, they go up to 30 feet. We have some that are self-contained. There are smaller ones that are just seven foot towers. This one here happens to be one of our HDT models that we sell in the towing industry. It has the dual tilt as well, um, but it, it's, it can be mounted in a very narrow space. It only takes about 12 inches or so to mount a vertical tower. And you can stop it at any height and it has a 355 degree rotation. We have all different kinds of cameras actually. So you could get something as simple as, a, as an eyeball camera that we would just mount right on the light bar and it'll pan and tilt. Um, that's just if you just want a basic picture of the, of the scene or, or maybe the towing guys may just want to kind of record what they're doing um, to, for insurance purposes or something like that. Um, all the way up to dual HD thermal cameras that firefighters can use to pinpoint hot spots. This is our standard wired controller. Uh, comes with a coiled cord uh, so it always retracts. Uh, we have the NF, uh, NFPA start and, and emergency stop right on the controller. Uh, we used to have a little box that was separate. Now you can take the controller and walk out away from the truck to start it up and, and control it. Uh, it's a real, it's nice with the, with the pistol grip. You can reach all the, uh, all the buttons you, with a one-handed operation. And then we also have uh, our new and improved wireless controller. Uh, we went to a company, had them design and build this for us. It's super rugged, uh, belt clip, lanyard, so you don't lose it. Again, has the, the NFPA start and stop on it. All our towers do have the auto up feature, 
So with a double click of the up button, the tower is going to raise to 90 degrees and then the lights are going to turn on. That way when the guy's operating the truck, he can, he can just do a quick setup and then do what he has to do and then turn the light exactly where they want it. Uh, this is the Sirion, the Sirion Profiler, and then these are the uh, X200. Uh, this is on the six pack. They also offer uh, the XL200, uh, 20,000 lumen fixture that, uh, they, that we put on our light towers. We also offer 20,000 lumen Whalen, uh, 20,000 lumen FRC, as well as uh, 28,000 lumen uh, Spectra Max and Spectra Max S. So LED and halogen are just two completely different kinds of light. Uh, they, they use different powers, they use different optics. Uh, man, I wish I had some lights here to show you. And the miracle of modern oh. technology. <laughs> Look at that, we got some lights. Uh, so with the halogen, uh, they use, of course, the incandescent bulb. Uh, they use a reflector. It shines light up, down, both directions as well as out. So it's a lot of wasted light, light going in places that you don't want it. Plus the energy consumption of one of these lights. One fixture is going to create, it's going to use more energy than a six pack of LEDs, plus the heat. These things are so hot, you could roast a hot dog on them. I mean, it's, it's an immense amount of heat. When they come down, you definitely don't want to touch them. Uh, LEDs, um, so they use, uh, I want to say smarter technology, but we're using optics and we're focusing the light on the target. Um, I wish I had a light, another LED light here that I could show you. Uh, so th this light is a spot flood combination. And as you can see, we're using individual optics instead of using a reflector. So this light is projecting it either a spot or flood optic, either the flood to give you the width or the spot to give you your, your depth to light up your scene. Focusing 100% of the light that's made on your target, not wasting it on outlying areas where you don't need it. So I always hear the term lumens, raw lumens, and what's the other term? Uh Lux? Lux. Okay, so I mean, everyone kind of gets wrapped up in the, in the lumens. Uh, lumens is the measurement of light that's taken at the source. So whether it's a halogen or it's an LED, the lumen measurement is taken right at the, right at, up against either the circuit or against the bulb. Then it has to pass through either an optic or go through a reflector, make it to the scene, and then that's what the lux is. That's the light on target. And that's what's important. The true test of that is seeing it with your eyes. I mean, you can sit and, and talk about numbers, uh, you can do mathematical equations, you can see them at a trade show, but to actually see them at night, you know, when we come out to the guys' departments, we do a demo, the lights sell themselves. You're able to see exactly what fixture does what and make it match what you want it to do on your, on your scene to make it as safe as possible.